Hello guys, this is Deathflow and welcome back to another Space Engineers Spotlight video. As you can tell by the thumbnail, this one is a little bit different. This is the Atlas Super Laser. It's basically one of those, um, it's like a, well it's a super laser after all. So yeah, it's, it's, it's one big, big old laser. Now there's been a few other mods, there's been the Spinal Laser mods, which, yeah, is quite nice. But this one's a lot better. So we've got to be taking a look at that. Before we get started, 90% of you aren't subscribed to the channel. If that is the case, why don't you go and hit the like button and subscribe because that will help me out quite a lot. And you can be notified on all future videos. Alright, let's go and take a look at this. So this is the Atlas Super Laser by Wizard Lizard. There will be a workshop link in the description below as always. Now, this laser itself looks really cool and is really powerful. It can't be like configured a lot. In fact, let's just go and look in here. Right, so, you can turn it off, do all your usual stuff, but you can't, like, say, colour the actual laser itself or anything, that remains the, you know, remains just the same as what it is when it comes straight out of the box. And yeah, it takes a wee while to accumulate energy and stuff, but what, what we've got to do is, we're going to fire this thing off. Now, I don't have any targets or anything. In fact, hold on, let's see, do I have any targets in my workshop page? No, I don't. I did have one, but I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, um, yeah, let's just go and fire this thing off. So, I basically I had to add a lot of reactors to it to charge it up, because it takes up a hell of a lot of power. Now, what I've got in the hotbar is I've got it to toggle firing. Alright. So, what we've got to do is we've just got to aim it like this. And we've got to press 1. It'll take a few moments to charge up, because um, it's just the way it happens, but you can slowly hear it kind of churning up in the background. It's similar to a jump drive. Here we go, it's about to start. Anytime now. Yeah, we're almost there. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! ah it looks so cool! I like how it's got the kind of like, um, it's like, um, like the electricity emanating from the actual beam itself, which is quite nice. Oh, and I've got it charging up for another one, don't I? Yes, I do, because I've got another energy charge. I'm good. Okay, right. And as you can see, that has got the little purple indicator there, which means it must be charging up to fire. Oh, yeah, just look at that. Holy crap, man. That looks so cool. Ah, oh, yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, um, something tells me that this mod itself is um going to be used a lot by a lot of people. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know by voting for both the options in the poll at the top right hand side of the screen. This video has been brought to you by Faz Fazingly, one of my Patreons. If you too would also like to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash deathlyt and pledge as little as $1 a month to help me and the channel out. Thanks guys. Since you're already here, you should come and join our Discord. That is the number one way to get in contact with me and we've got a thriving little community over there and we'd be happy to have you. The link is both on screen right now and in the video description. I'd like to thank you all for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.